Hi, I am your kingdom, spiritual transformational, and life purpose life coach, Patricia Booker, here with Kingdom Business. Well, we are empowered. Well, we heal, we get delivered, and we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and we raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power. And that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. We are history makers, we are real changers, we are dream successors. We are wealth generators, we are manifestors, we are curse breakers, and we most definitely are transformers. More than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. Kingdom people, thank you all so very much for viewing my videos. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, the shares, for all of your emails, for commenting on my videos by email, of course. As many of you already know, my comments are closed to keep the channel free of contamination. And so thank you for all of the bookings, for all of the, your the awesome chat sessions, and everything that you do here on Kingdom People. Thank you for all the seeds that you sow into me and my ministry and how you support my channel. I really do appreciate you all, Kingdom People, so very much. Thank you. So, you already know what I'm here to do. And if you don't know, now you know. I am here to drop this, beat this, word this message. Mm, yeah. King to people, I am the chain breaker. Are you ready to break some chains? Let's go. So listen, king to people, listen up. <laughs> Look, I just heard extra, extra, read out about it. <laughs> Hear all about it. Listen up, king to people. They are under their own spell. King to people. They are under their own spell. Y'all already know them ones. In particular, those ones that were trying to put you under a spell. <laughs> Kingdom people. It's being people that was trying to put you under spell. They was doing all this black magic, voodoo, voodoo, hoodoo. They was trying to put curses on you, hexes on you. I don't know, all that kind of stuff. And even if they weren't doing it by actively participating in certain practices and rituals, they were still operating in witchcraft by trying to make you feel a certain way, trying to keep you from your destiny, trying to keep you from what God had for you by trying to keep you from who God has ordained you to be with. That's a bit been coming up a lot lately. Um, these Some of these people that were actually per, participating or actively doing spell work, you know, they were trying, some were trying to make you want them, even fall in love with them, whether you're a man or a woman. It could be a man and or a woman doing that. Yes, yes. A woman may be trying to make a put a spell on a woman, trying to make the woman fall in love with her, and vice versa. For a man, a man could be doing that to you. It could also be the opposite sex. But this is what has been going on out here, kingdom people. People were trying to make you fall in love with them, make them want you, make you need them, need you need them, trying to make you see them as desirable trying to make you trust them, trying to make you forget your memory so that you won't remember what all they done and kind of people, all kind of stuff. These people were even, some of them even did, um, were trying to kill you, trying to make you mentally insane, trying to kind of people. They was doing all kind of stuff. Some of these people were trying to put a spell on you, all kinds of spells just so that they can First, try to have their way with you. And then on the other side of that, try to stop you from moving forward. And in many cases, trying to literally bring you down. Okay, kingdom people. The issue with all this, going back to my original point, is that they are under their own spell. Everything that they attempted to do to you is actually happening to them. Listen, it's some people that was trying to make you want them, desire them, desire them, want you to come to them, 
Um, and you don't, because you know, for one, they're full of darkness. You know that they operate. You just know that they're demonic people, and you have no interest in them. Crazy thing is, what they were trying to do to you is what's happening with them. These people are obsessed with you, and they're focused on you, trying to get in up in your life and do they already probably was from the beginning and because you put a wall up because <laughs> you didn't want to have no parts of them they resorted to spell work and so again some of these people listen they obsessed with you i don't want to say in love with you i mean kind of but it's really delusional um they just can't shake you they can't get you off their mind. What they were trying to do with you. They wanted you to be thinking about them and focused on them. And even probably was doing things to get your attention and make you pay them some attention. And you don't. You notice what they're doing. But again, you know what they're doing and that they're full of darkness. And you ignore them. You don't pay it no attention because you have no interest in who they are, what they are, what they have to offer. I'm literally hearing you have no interest in the darkness. You don't have interest in them. What fellowship does light and darkness have together? I'll tell you, none. So these people were trying to do all kinds of th things to make you interested in them. And you're not. But they're very interested in you. Very interested in you. They want you. I want to say for all the wrong reasons, but for good reasons. But first of all, the way they go about things is wrong. Secondly, these people are not supposed to even be a part of your life, in your life. You know, listen. It's a no. <laughs> it's just a no. But can the people, all what they were trying to do with you, trying to do to you, they are living at themselves. Kingdom people, they are under their own spell. The spell they tried to put on you is on them. Psalm 57 and 6 proves it. Listen to this. They set a neck for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my way. But they have fallen into it themselves. Selah. <laughs> so, the, so the trap they set for you, the ditch they dug for you, they in it. They fell in it themselves. The very spell they were trying to put on you is on them they're experiencing it literally listen this scripture at the end says sila <laughs> that trips me out sila means amen and so it is so basically this scripture is saying they have fallen into that pit themselves amen and so it is that's what's happening kingdom people the spell they tried to put on you, it's on them. They are under their own spell. Proverbs 26 and 27 says, Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. If someone rolls a stone, it will roll back on them. <laughs> Can the people? I'm not making this up. <laughs> What God is saying. That spell they were trying to put on you. Is on them. They under their own spell. And some of these people. Came to people. <laughs> Come here. Let me tell y'all a secret. Come up. They watching trying to see. If the spell working on you. When they don't even realize. <laughs> it's working on them. <laughs> realize it. Some of them do. Some of them do realize this, oh, this spell is hitting me. But they still watching, trying to see is it working on her though? Is it working on him? They still watch it. These people be managing their spell work <laughs> on a daily basis. Whether they're doing it or they're paying someone to do it. They're managing it and watching you to see if it's working. No, 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 no. It's not working. Well, it's working, but it's not working on me. It's not working on you, kingdom people. It's working on them. They are under their own spell. Psalm 7, 15 through 16 says, 
They dig a hole to trap others, but they will fall into it themselves. They would get themselves into trouble. The violence they caused will hurt only themselves. Do I need to say anything else? <laughs> Must I say more kingdom people? Listen, some of these people been doing this to other people and they've been getting away with it. Well, really, they haven't been getting away with it, but it's been working. But that's because no shade to nobody, but they were not covered like you. Those people were not you. They were not covered. They wasn't protected by God. Not quite like you. Not saying they didn't have some protection, but they didn't walk with God like you. They weren't chosen like you. They wasn't kingdom like you. They, were, they didn't have your anointing. And I'm literally hearing how God used you. See, they didn't even understand. They felt they was falling into a trap they was trying to set for you, which is kind of what we're talking about. God knew that they were going to do what they were doing. And you know what? I'm, when I read this, Psalm 7, 7 and 16, it says they would get themselves into trouble. And what I thought about when I just read this is I remember I did a video on how they are in big trouble and <laughs> get away. <laughs> and how at the time the message was how the sirens were going off and God was saying it's time for you to go. Get it go because he can ready to destroy their land and he don't want you nowhere in. Kind of like um, how he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He told Lot and his family, get out. At the time he was saying how it's such an urgency and how you have to go. And I know from my own personal experience, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way out, but he slowed it. I'm not going to say he slowed it down, but it wasn't like, oh, go right now. But what he showed me later was they're in trouble, but as long as you're still there and they keep going, they're building up more trouble for themselves. So again, that spell that they put on you, they under. The more they build it up, the more they keep going, the more trouble that's coming their way. And so God still, if in, in the instances where you're still in certain places, but God is moving you and he's letting you know it's time to go. He finna ram shack their entire existence. Cause I mean, that's what it is. Cause they trying to ram shack your entire existence. And he going to ramshack theirs. What they're doing is storing up more, more harm to themselves by continuing to go. But the issue with that or the reason for, being, for it being the way it is, kingdom people, is because they're under their own spell. So listen to this. If they were trying to make you want them, desire them, be obsessed with them, that's what spell they're under. Now they're obsessed with you. Can't keep their focus off of you. Which in which is storing up more trouble for them. And I'm hearing karma. Yes, kingdom people, I'm saying karma. They have so much karma built up. They're building up more karma. And karma is just simply the principle of reaping what you sow. They have sold a lot of spells on others. So they're reaping those spells. They're reaping what they're sowing. Karma. And the more they go, and wait, let me let me say it like this, like what I was trying to say. Now that they're under their own spell that they were trying to put on you, it's, it's ganging up a lot more. They, it's just compounding more and more karma. Simply because now they're under what they were trying to put you under. And it's kind of like they can't stop. Because now they're stuck in their own spell. They're under their own spell. And they're just steadily accumulating more and more karma. So, going back to what I was saying, how God was saying they're in big trouble. You got to go. And the... And how he was saying in that video that I'm speaking of, I may link that video in this um, at the in the description box, so you can refer back to it if you would like. But what I was seeing in that video, in particular, was you're the holdup. So 
the faster you when you go it's a wrap and that still holds to be true even if you're still there the point is while you're still there and they're under their own spell they're accumulating more karma when you go that's when everything gonna completely hit the fan because it ain't completely hit it's happening they're under their own spell but they haven't seen nothing yet they're stuck in the very thing they were trying to do to you they're under their own spell and i'm hearing their own curse these people were trying to curse you kingdom people and they're under the very curse that they were trying to do to you and i'm hearing scripture says they he will god says he will curse those who curse you and he will bless those who bless you so they were trying to curse you now they're under their own curse and it only gets worse it only gets worse because these people they just yeah i just heard they're just purely wicked wicked hearts wicked minds just wicked let me get out of there I think I made my point. So, came to people. I am going to let that rest right there. <laughs> if you like this video and or if it resonates with you, please go ahead and just give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button if you have not already done so. And then click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video something like this one and also if you are interested in any of the services that I presently offer you can go ahead and look right down below in that description box you will find all that information if you would like to sow a seed into me my ministry and support my channel you can cash at me at cash.me slash backslash dollar sign L Booker and the number one again that is cash.me backslash dollar sign capital L capital B O O K E R and the number one. You can also PayPal me at paypal.me backslash Latricia Booker. Again, that is paypal.me backslash Latricia Booker. Kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. We are history makers, we are world changers, we are dream successors, we are wealth generators, we are manifestors. We are curse breakers and we most definitely are transformers more than me CI. Yeah, kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. Kingdom people, I love you all so very much. I really do appreciate you being here with me, spending this time with me. You could be anywhere, but you chose me. And I truly appreciate that. I choose you too, kingdom people. I choose you too. So with that being said, much love, light, and peace, and many blessings to you all kingdom people that is my time your girl and jesus girl she's out did i get pushy at the end <laughs> yes i did i am out kingdom people peace